guys, this is Brandy with Stitchin' in Oregon. I am back for floss tube number 11. Sorry, there is a glare. <laughs> um, and today is March 31st, 2024. Um, it's Easter, so happy Easter everyone. I hope you all have been able to celebrate or not celebrate however you want to. I'll try to insert a picture. We did um, eat, like small Easter baskets for the kids and then I saw a cool like little video on TikTok um, of a, a game that you play where all of the eggs are attached to strings and then things are in the eggs and you pull a string and um, anyway. Um, my youngest are 11 now and so even though they still like Easter egg hunts, um, they thought that was a lot of fun. So that's probably something that we will do from now on. Um, and like I said, I'll try to put the picture in of our setup so you guys can kind of see how that worked. Um, but if you just look up like Easter egg games on TikTok or probably YouTube or wherever, I'm sure it would come up. Um, but they had a lot of fun with it. So, um, we are currently on the last day of spring break for our school district and we go back to school tomorrow. Um, my son is currently on his way to the airport. He's been with us for, uh, the past week almost. And, um, we went camping, um, up on the North Oregon coast right outside of Astoria um, and if anyone is familiar with the area we had some pretty crazy weather this past week so we went camping from Sunday to Thursday and um, we did have the first day was really nice weather and then the second day it rained off and on but I was able to go on a two and a half mile hike with my sister, it's just around the lake, so it's not anything challenging or anything, but um, we, and I took my dog Olaf on that, and um, he's uh, my pity, so he had a lot of fun for the first, like, mile and a half, and then he was tired, and he refused to drink any water, <laughs> um, but, so that was a lot of fun, and then on Wednesday, I had actually wanted to come home and my girls wanted to stay because um, they had been fishing and doing really well. And so they convinced my husband to stay and um, we had a wind advisory that we knew about, um, but it ended up being wind and then rain, and then hail, and then thunderstorms, and then hail, and then rain, and then wind. So it was a really crazy night. And then the next morning we packed up to come home and it was just a crazy downpour. So, um, but we came home on Thursday and then I started classes for, I'm getting my master's degree in special education and those classes actually started on Thursday. And so, um, we got home from camping, unloaded the camper, and I immediately hopped online for school. So, um, that's been an adjustment. And then, um, you know, we just kind of have been hanging out at home. I got a little bit of stitching done. Um, and I think I'm going to try to take the girls out maybe for a small walk or hike today because the weather is nice. Um, so there is that. I am filming this a little bit differently than I have before. Before I've always filmed it on my iPhone. I'm going to try doing this on my computer this time so that I have less transferring of videos. So I'm excited to see how this works and I hope you all can hear me well and that um, if this setup doesn't work, just let me know um, in the comments and I'll see what we can do to play with it. Um, all right, so let's start with who I've been watching. Um, 
I've been watching Crafty Gaming Jamie on YouTube, um, and I like her videos because they're usually um, really short and to the point. Um, and um, she just she stitches on so many different things, um, but seeing her progress on um, like her full coverage. I can't remember what it is. It's um, it's an autumn one that her and her sister are stitching. Um, but it's beautiful. And I would definitely go check out her videos to see her progress on it. These last set of videos, I think... I don't know if she's just doing it for March or if it's something new she's trying out. But she did like a vlog style where she was filming like a little bit a day. And then added all of the clips into one video. Um, and that was really fun to watch. So I liked that a lot. Um, and then the other one that I've been watching, and I know I've talked about this before, is Phoebe from Moonshine Stitchery. I remembered her name this time. Um, I just watched her latest floss tube last night. Um, and she was doing a, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, whip parade for her two year floss tube anniversary. So I would go check her out. She has some of the biggest, most wonderful projects ever. I don't honestly know. She must be like the speediest stitcher on the planet. I don't know how she has time to do all of that. Um, but she has one project. I'm going to have to go back and see what it is. It's a, um, reflet de swat, I think. Is how you say it. Anyway, it's one that she started with her friend when they were um, in Paris. And it's just these really beautiful, like, red roses or something. Um, and it's stitched with silk. But um, I saw that one last night, and it really jumped out at me. Um, but all of her stitching is really beautiful and fun. So I'd go check that out. Show her some love for her two-year floss tube anniversary. Um, and then the only other, I haven't really been watching a lot of floss tube, honestly. Um, I have been working and I do a lot of, um, I stay after school and I help kids with, um, homework help. Um, and so I'm usually there until like five or five 30 a couple days a week. And, um, and then my girls have volleyball and when my husband's out of town, you know, it's a whole thing. Um, and he does work out of town probably half of the month. And so, um, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for, um, YouTube watching. Usually my girls are wanting to, to watch something on TV. And so I'll let them pick the show and I'll do a little bit of stitching with them. So, um, that being said, I have a finish and I'm super excited about this one. I actually wasn't expecting to get this finished until October. Um, this is my anniversary piece. Um, and it was on my short list to have finished this year. I started it. It will have been three years in October. So I'm at about what, two and a half years, a little under that of working on this. And I will say I made some changes. Um, you all have seen this before, but I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. I finished this, um, on March 24th on our way to camping. So we were in a mountain pass and I put the last stitches in. So I'm super excited. So this is Violet's Blue by Blackbird Designs. And I did make some changes. I left out all of these flowers down here. I, so I stitched this and I really, really love it. I think it's a fun size. And for any of you that have been watching my videos, you know that I, um, I did a floss conversion on this and I put them all away. So I don't really know what they are. I could probably figure out some of them if you want to know, but um, the fabric is a 36 count picture this plus, um, it's just a purple, I 
don't know what color it is. And this is what it looks like. And I'm super, super happy with it. There are some mistakes in here, but again, I started this on an airplane and in an airport, and so my counting was off, and by the time I figured out what the error was, I had too much done. So I wasn't gonna undo it. Um, but I finished, let's see, these words. Okay, I finished the words down here. Originally it calls for a set of initials over here and I did have my husband stitched over there, but I moved them over here and I like that much better. This is the year we got married. Um, and I think I'm gonna buy like the little tags with the year for this year um, to put on it for finishing. So, and then I had finished all of this already. So I just had to bring this down, connect the border. And then I think I had to finish the border from here down. I had to do all of the purple hearts on this side and all of the leaves. Um, but it says, as the violets blue, my heart is true, dear sweetheart, I love but you. And I'm just going to frame this and I'll put it on our wall. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So if you guys want a fun kind of anniversary piece I suggest this one uh, it'll go in my pile of finishes <laughs> that's what this drawer is this is all things that are finished but not fully finished um, this is my mom's and I need to finish it for her she finished it last summer when she came to visit but yeah that's what this whole thing is I need to I need to finish something oh my lanta um, well, I need to fully finish something. So, okay. Next, since I finished that, I started, well, I didn't start it. Let's see if I can find it. Hopefully I brought it up. Hold on one second. Okay, so since I finished that anniversary piece, I decided to pull out this one. This will be my next anniversary piece to work on. And I have loved this one for so long. This is Plum Street Sampler's Sweetheart Hill. And if you guys remember, I started this on my 12 by 12 on New Year's Eve. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I started this, and originally I had started it on a 40 count. Um, I'll show you. Originally I started it on a 40 count picture of this plus linen. Um, and I just bought this at Acorns and Threads. But, and this is all I had done. This is what I got done New Year's Eve. It was a piddly start. but I just decided I didn't really like it on this. So I took another pe couple pieces of fabric camping with us and I had my husband look and choose which one he liked the best. So he went with one of my fabric of the months that I've gotten from Grace Notes Fabrics. Um, it is a 32 count Misty Mountain linen. This is the tag and I mean I got nothing done nothing this is what I got done can you even see it it's just a little piece at the bottom um, it's like the white box where you put the words in under the house so this is how tall it is how tall that box is and then the house will start here so this will be the one I get out on the 14th of the month now to get a little bit of progress and it's an absolutely huge piece of fabric and I won't need all of it so um, anyway I'm excited for that one that was a restart like I said um, I just 
I like 40 count, but for some reason I did not like stitching on that one. So we moved it to a 32 count. This drawer is, I don't know if you can see it, this is all of my projects that I've either restarted or abandoned that I have to rip stitches out of and reclaim the fabric. <clears throat> so I am stitching that, like I said, on 32 Count Misty Mountain Linen by Grace Notes, and I'm stitching it with the called for DMC, and that's what it'll look like. This is one of the very first ones I ever bought from a um, D stash on Facebook. So that one is really pretty. Okay, next I have my Taylor Swift project. This is called Evermore. It came from a shop on Etsy that I don't know the name of. This is the one my sister had sent um, me the, let's see if I can actually pull it up since I'm not stitching on my phone. Um, <laughs> nice. Okay. Glare, glare. This is what it will look like. Um, and I am stitching this with the called for DMC on a 27 count Linda even weave, um, one over one. And I'm super excited because pretty much her entire jacket is done. And I started working on her braid last night. Um, so this is the fabric and this is where I'm at. So all that's left of the jacket is right down here. It's just like this little armpit piece. And I started her braid. So I don't know if you guys can see the detail in that. But this has to be done this month because I'm gifting this to my sister in May. We're going camping at Silver Creek um, State Park um, in Silverton and, um, for, excuse me, for Memorial Day. And I told her I would have this by then, but look at how tiny it is. It's like literally the size of my hand. So this has got to be a focus for this month, but I'd say I'm three quarters of the way done. The only reason that this might go a little bit slower is because it's confetti stitching. Like, I was trying to, you can kind of see how her hair is braided in there, which is kind of cool. But then she's got, you know, her head up here. So, so this is a bigger picture. So I'm working in here. My goal is to fill this in and then I'll do that. That one is pretty slow going because of all of the confetti. Okay, next is my um, beekeeper pin keep by uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. And sorry, I have my tablet in the bag with this one and so that I can show. Okay, this is what it will look like when it's done. And I am, after the stitches I put in in March, I am 73.79% done with it. So I'm really, really happy with my progress. I'm stitching this on a 40 count Tyco linen by Picture This Plus, and I've got two shades of blue and then one shade of Ecru in here. My sister picked the colors, and this is where I'm at. Okay. 
I'm super, super happy with this. Last time I worked on it, I finished that B-skep, finished the table and these flowers, and I pulled this border over. So now I just need to decide what I'm working on next. I love this. This is so pretty. This is one of those 40 count linens that is so fun to work on. And I am stitching this one over too. So that will come out again. Okay. Next is my Happy Camper by The Blue Flower. As you guys know, if you've been watching me, <clears throat> this is a project that my daughter Cadence um, saw and decided I needed to stitch for her. I saw it when it came out and was like, I'm buying this. And my daughter said, you're doing this for me. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And I did take this camping and I was, I'm so happy with my progress. I finished this here, almost got this guy done and I reworked these flowers. If you remember, you couldn't really see the flowers on my fabric. And so I decided I was going to do something different with them. My sister helped me turn them into mushrooms. So I'm super, super happy with this. Um, let's see. I am stitching this on a 32 count Lugana two over two. Um, I just bought this at Acorns and Threads. Um, and I am stitching it with the called for floss. So there's a mix of DMC and overdyes in here. And let's see. I'll open the whole thing so you can see everything. Okay, this is where I'm at on it. Doesn't it just look awesome? I know there are other people who are stitching this or have finished it. I think um, the camping stitcher, maybe. I think she was working on this. I don't know if it's done. But, so this is how far I am. I almost have a page finish. There is part of a lantern under this, part of a lantern that hangs here, a little bit of a bird, and then there's some words from Mountain. And that's the end of page one. So really not that much stitching. I'll finish that on another camping trip this summer. I know I'll get at least page one finished. And I'll get this. Is it a hedgehog or a porcupine? My daughter and I were debating on what it was. I We don't know. Okay. So last summer that gray squirrel, his tail got messed up and um, I just decided to leave it. He was in an accident and he survived with a half a tail. Um, the mushrooms are the original flower base shape. So the white stitches in there are like the caps of the flowers. Um, but I did back stitching and I added some red dots and I um, did outline the top in red and then the bottom is like a brown color. I think it's the same color as this guy actually. Um, super, super happy with how those turned out though. And then the hedgehog guy is, he's so fun. That is not fun to stitch though at all. But yeah, that's where I am on this. And my plan is by the end of the summer, I will have a page finish. So, so this one will go away until our next camping trip, which I think our next planned one is May um, at Silver Creek Falls. So... Okay. All right. So then the other thing I worked on while we were camping was, um, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh my gosh. <coughs> <coughs> oh 
the pollen count has been so high here the last couple days because it's been really sunny again. So it got really, really warm and the pollen count like skyrocketed and then it rained for like a week and a half again and it got cold. So then pollen counts dropped and everyone's feeling a little better and now yesterday and today um, has been so nice. Like uh, the wind has been a little chilly, but the sun is out and we're like in the high, high 50s, low 60s, I think. Um, and um, sorry, my daughter just texted me from college. Um, and so it's so it's currently 48 and our high is supposed to be 62 and it's sunny and beautiful, but it makes for pollen that in Washington I wasn't used to. And so in Oregon, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Anyway, back to stitching. <clears throat> the other thing that I worked on, and this is one of my Whipco pulls, was Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. Um, I love, love, love this one. I love working on this one. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. My book is all beat up because it is shoved in a project bag, but that's okay. So this is what it'll look like. This is a stitch along with um, the Museum Stitcher, Bridget the Museum Stitcher, and Megan um, the Seattle Stitcher, and uh, oh gosh, I really need to write them down. There's a whole list of people who are doing it, and I jumped in on it. Um, I'm not nearly as far as they are, um, but... I am, I'm really happy with the progress I have. So I have this top B done, I finished. Plus I have all of this done. Um, like this whole, this whole pot is done. Yeah, so, you know, two thirds left, but it's fun to stitch on. I am stitching this with a called for Valdani floss, which if any of you have worked with Valdani, it is um, the thicker. I took it off the spools because I did not like, I didn't like that. And I put it on floss drops, but the colors are amazing. And I was working on this at my daughter's volleyball tournament last weekend. And I had so many compliments on the colors of the floss, especially like, yeah. Anyway, um, anyone who's worked with these know these are three strands and you're supposed to work with them with all three strands, which is really tight on a 28 count, which is what it calls for. But, um, and my black is just an anchor black instead of DMC because I like the coverage better. Um, I am stitching this on a 28 count pink chocolate from Be Stitch Me. It's an even weave. Um, and I love this fabric. It is my favorite, favorite color of pink. Um, I think I got it in a Friday Night Fright Night, but I cannot remember. I'll try to flatten it a little. I do stitch with a hoop most of the time. Um, and I don't, I don't really, iron. <clears throat> okay, this is where I am at. I'm really excited with this. Um, so when I was working on this at the volleyball tournament, I was working on, I got these guys stitched in. These like little, I don't know if they're flower petals or like little bugs. But I got those done, I got these done, I got these flowers done, and then the last thing I was working on was, I had another one of these to do, I got this in, and I got the B put in, and these triangles. And I know that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but that's a lot of color changes. I think, like this one flower, changed colors one two three four five six times this guy 
So this flower is one color, its center is one color. Then you have your leaves. The leaves are two different colors. Then you have this is one color. Then there is three stitches here that are one color. And then one stitch there that is one color. And then the center is another. It's a lot of, a lot of color changes. And if there's something close by, I'll finish my strand. But more often than not, I'm just trying to finish the motif when I work on this. So... But I love, love, love the way this is looking. I have the winter one, um, and I do want to start that, but I don't want to start it until this one is done. So, and this was on my whip go board for March, and so I did meet that goal. Whoop! Sorry, bonking things here, Just putting them away. Okay. All right. My other Whipco Whipco call for this month is Teresa Kogit. Remember me. Um, this is one I started with my um, friend Tanya. Um, and I'm stitching it with DMC. Originally, I was stitching this on a 40 count vintage by B Stitch Me. And it's a beautiful, and it was an opal, um, and I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. This is the fabric I was stitching on originally, and this is how much I had done. I started in the center because I wasn't sure about margins. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. I did not like stitching this on it though, and I am not really sure why. I think I'm not a huge fan of stitching with one strand is my issue. Um, it looks really full and beautiful on this, but I don't know. I just have not been, and that's what I had had done. I didn't feel like when I reach for something, I want it to be fun to stitch on. And if it's not fun to stitch on, even if I love the pattern, I'm not going to work on it. What's the point in investing all this time and energy into things that are beautiful that you love if you're not going to work on it, even if it's beautiful? So despite having all of those stitches in, I restarted this. So my original pull, I did work on this for like three days and put... Um, some stitches in. I got like all of this part done down here and like had finished a lot of this outline and called it. This is what the pattern looks like. There's a lot of people stitching this right now. Um, but like I said, this is a stitch along between my friend Tanya and I. I think maybe her friend Tiffany is doing it with us too. I'm sure she's way further than us or she's finished it. I don't know. Um, but this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I restarted up in the corner. Tanya had sent me a picture of hers and I normally have a corner start and I just decided, no, I need a corner start on this. So I restarted this on a Grace Notes fabric. Um, it's a 32 count um, linen called Toasted Marshmallow. This came in one of my fabric of the month things. So, and I am very, very happy with my progress. My margins are going to be super tight, super, super tight. But look, it will fit. That is the whole width of it. So, and this is how much I got done in just two days. So, you can already tell I enjoy stitching on this fabric so much more. And I love Be Stitch Me. That fabric is beautiful. I will find something else to stitch on it. Um, but for me, for this project, it just wasn't doing it. So anyway, this piece of fabric is really pretty. It's like this really light. Look at that modeling. It's so pretty. But I double checked 
my margins <clears throat> will fit. I double, triple counted. Um, so this was my other whip go call. Super, super happy with my progress. Really glad I restarted. So, um, so there's that one. So both my whip go calls for the month were completed, which as you guys know, I'm sorry, pretty loosey goosey with my whip go calls meaning I don't have any hard and fast rules for how much I stitch. I know a lot of people do like stitch counts or time counts. For me, as long as I touch it at all during the month, I count it. My goal is at least three days. Um, but again, I don't count stitches. I just want to touch it because um, some progress is better than none. Just like I tell my kiddos at school, turning something in is better than nothing. Right, and that's how I feel about this. My cross stitch, too. I just, as long as we are getting some progress, even if it's only five stitches, five stitches today is five I don't have to do tomorrow. So, okay, next is this is my last whip. This is one I'm trying to pull this out on the fourth of the month. And I keep forgetting. Um, so I pulled it out yesterday and I got some stitches in and I'm counting it as my 4th of July stitching for the month. Um, my goal is to get this done by July because in July I am starting land that I love and it should be in here somewhere. Then that I love by, oh, I need to put this in my plans too. Forgot about that. Um, by Teresa Coget. What did I do with it? Nope, not that. Anyway, I'm sure you all have seen it. Um, it is a beautiful, what did I do with it? That's not good. <laughs> oh, is this it? Did I find it? I found it. Oh my gosh. I'm so Things are a little bit of a mess. It's organized chaos. I knew it was over here somewhere, but okay. So in July, I am starting land that I love. I have all the floss already. Mostly. I just need to get a piece of fabric and I have seen, oh gosh, I can't remember. I'll tag her down below. Um, working on this. Um, who is it? Pause. Sorry, that's going to really bother me. Um, Elizabeth Ann can stitch. Oh my God. <sighs> YouTube to the rescue. Okay, she has been working on this for a long time. And um, I don't know if she's finished it because, like I said, I haven't been watching Floss Tube as much. But hers makes me want to work on this. So, this will get pulled out in July. Uh, gosh darn it, I am so sorry. Anyway, so all that to say, I need to finish this this one by July so that I can start that one. Um, this is Let's Go Ride a Bike by Stitching with the Housewives. It's the 4th of July one, like I said. My husband kitted this up for me for Christmas, so I think I maybe started this on Christmas. And I'm super happy with my progress. It's in a hoop. He bought me all the called for floss, the called for fabric and everything. Um, so it's a 28 count even weave in, in black, black. Um, last night I worked on this. I finished this wheel. So I got these gray spokes in. I'm really happy with that. And then I finished the blue frame 
for the bike. So the blue in the bike is all done. And then I just need to do, to finish the bike off, there's a front tire, a basket of flowers and a flag, and then the handlebars. Uh, and then the bike is done. Then there's just, there's a cart that it's pulling and then a banner up at the top. It looks so good. Yay, I'm so happy. So this will come out again in a couple days, hopefully. But it gets one day of stitching pretty much a month, which is not a lot, but hopefully it's enough. As long as I have good light, I can I can get a good amount of progress on this. Last night I did all of that. Um, my husband was playing a game um, and then I, would, I was making cheeseburger soup. So multitasking. Um, but okay, that is all of my whips. Now we have plans for April. Um, okay, plans for April. Whip go numbers have been called. Um, so there is that. I'm excited about these ones. Um, the first number that it called is Poisonous Plants by the Witchy Stitcher. I am stitching this on a, let's see if I have the tag. It's a picture of this plus, um, fabric and I'm doing it on a dark gray instead of a black. I started it on a black, I think, and I didn't, didn't like it, but my son picked the fabric out. Um, if I can find, figure out what the color is, I'll put it down below. Um, so this is one my son wanted me to stitch for him. So I'm glad this got called because it has not got any love since 12 by 12. All the stitching in there is what I got done on 12 by 12. And I don't think I might have a picture actually um, okay here it is I'm sure you all have seen this this is not a new I bought it on Etsy from, sorry, the witchy stitcher. Um, there's a lot of back stitch in it, but it's just poisonous plants. Um, and so I am currently working up here in this, and that is the moonflower, which my son loves the moonflower. So um, anyway, so this is where I'm at. And... It will get some love this month. Like I said, hopefully three days, but as long as it gets something where I'm happy. Um, and then that one is also a focus piece for the year. I am hoping to have it done by his birthday next year. So I'm giving myself, you know, a year and a half to get it done. Hopefully that's enough. But I also haven't worked on it since the beginning of the year. This is my other whip go pull. This one is Say Coffee by Heartstring Samplery. This is what it looks like. And I am stitching this with my own floss conversion on a 32 count opal linen called Pensiera from Grace Notes Fabrics. There's a theme with my fabric, guys. This one is an opal linen and it is just so pretty. And this is how far I am. So I definitely want to finish that, um, this guy here. It's a big star. So this is where it is. So I want to finish the star and then I think that's a bat next to it. I don't know, but I want to finish that. So that will be my goal for this stitching session. And I'm stitching this with one over two, which like I said, I'm not a huge fan of one strand. 
So I'm not really sure why I did that, but it's what I'm doing. One over two on 32 count Pensiera by Grace Notes. Just look at how pretty this is. Can you see? There, It's like this light purpley pink, very subtle, and it's opal. The sun must have went behind a cloud. There we go. Anyway, I love it. I love it. So that'll get some love. And like I said, I am using my own floss conversion. It was what I have from Stash that was close to the call for. So those are both my Whipco calls. The other plan is I need to finish Taylor Swift this month, which shouldn't be that bad. I think there's less than 400 stitches left. So maybe if I work on it a little bit every day, I can get it done. Um, and then I have my 300 stitches that I need to do on the Beekeeper Pin Keep by Modern Folk Embroidery. That is also for my sister. That one does not need to be done until October though. And I am ahead on stitches on that. So if I fall a little bit behind for this month to get Taylor Swift done, that would be okay. Um, my 4th of July piece needs to come out for another day this month. And um, then my husband's birthday is this month on um, the end of <clears throat> April and he works for Coca-Cola and um, he travels a lot but he he has an office anyway um, I want to stitch him something Coca-Cola related um, like old school kind of and I've seen a lot of really cool patterns like on eBay but I don't want to do anything crazy huge that's going to take me 10 million years to do. I have too many projects. I just, I cannot add another like giant full coverage. So on Stash Unload on Facebook, I saw somebody had, sorry, I got a cover up. There was a name written on it. This booklet, Coca-Cola, it's trademark symbols and slogans. And there's a bunch of patterns in here. So here's three of them. And then see if I can find, there's another. Here is the rest. And they're so cool. I just, he's worked there now for like five years. It's the reason we moved to Oregon, maybe seven years. Anyway. It's been a while. So, um, this is the rest of them. The one I'm going to do is, um, I think I'm going to do the diamond one, this guy here. So, because I feel like it's more unique than some of the rest of these. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'm really excited about this. So I've got to get that together. And um, I mean, it's not like it uses three colors, red, black, and white. So you have 310 white and then 666 are the colors. Um, there is some back stitching, obviously all of the little letters underneath that say trademark. Um, and they stitch it on an 18 count white Ada, which I do have a lot of 18 count. So I could do that. And so Anyway, it's called the Harle Harlequin, Harlequin, Harlequin can design is what that pattern is called. And it says, um, from the archives, the Harlequin design with the alternating trademarks, Coca-Cola and Coke for the beverage can was introduced in 1966 and used until 1970. Coca-Cola is 
in a can was first distributed in the United States market in 1960. So, yeah. Anyway, plans start this this month. I'm excited about that. And, I mean, there is, like, there's red that is kind of full coverage. But for the most part, this should be super easy. Okay, the other thing I did, which I didn't bring up here. Um, I'll try to post a picture. I'll add a picture in here, hopefully. Um, just because I don't have enough going on, <laughs> I decided to do a random pick of my projects um, to try to get some work on something. And my, um, I did like a random number generator and it picked Summer by the Cricut Collection. Um, and I'm going to try to work that into my schedule to get a little bit of progress done on that. So um, I write everything down in a planner of what I want to work on. And then as I do it, I kind of cross it off so that I know I've hit my at least worked on it goal. And then obviously if I want to work on it more, I do. But so that is that. I don't, that was a lot. <laughs> I don't have anything else. Um, hopefully I get this uploaded to YouTube today um, and you all can enjoy it today or tomorrow or whenever you do. Uh, enjoy the sunshine. I saw it was snowing in Arizona today or tomorrow, which blows my mind away. Um, my friend had posted online that they had a, a snow warning and I texted her and I was like, are you kidding me? Because I would, I would love to live in Arizona, but you know, it's hard when it's already beautiful and sunny here and we just have rain and we haven't had snow or ice since January. So we had a couple of ice days. We don't have snow days, really just ice days here um, in January and that's it. So anyway, that is all. Um, I did get a cricket for my birthday. Um, my birthday was the beginning of March and I'm kind of playing around with that, trying to figure out some fun things. So maybe I'll post some pictures of what I have done. So if any of you have any tips or tricks on how to use that, I know when we, we don't usually just have one hobby, right? We usually dabble in all these different things. And you know, for me, I have my cross stitch. I have quilting. Um, I can sew some, my kids, used to, and my nieces and nephew would, I'm anti McStuffins, right? If any of you have ever seen Doc McStuffins on Disney Junior. Um, anyway, she fixes broken toys and stuffed animals and stuff. And so I do that for them still. Um, but now I have my cricket too. So I've been playing around with that, trying to figure it out. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any tips or tricks or any thoughts or ideas about that, I would love to hear that. Um, and if you have any new floss tubers that you want me to check out, go ahead and put them down below too. Um, I really need to get back on watching. It, watching floss tube makes me happy and enables me. I have not bought any market stuff yet. And there's a couple Blackbird booklets that I want so bad. And I'm waiting. Um, I have not bought any cross stitch supplies since the new year. So I'm feeling pretty good about that right now. Um, all I have is I have my monthly floss that comes from Fat Quarter Shop. And then I have my fabric of the month from Grace Notes. So those are my two things. And um, all of that keeps me busy. So yeah, anyway, that's all for today. This video ended up being super long. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I can get it edited and put up today. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.